It sounds like everyone's still here. They're all alive, but they're all also preoccupied with something. An explosion? Oh god. Oh, there's so much more here. Hold on. Oh, we were exploring the upper deck the whole time. And now we are on the lower deck. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, speaking of which, the locker room. Mila's locker was also not open yet, right? Did I miss how to do that? Or we just haven't figured it out yet? Yeah, we know that Mila has an office here that we can't open, so maybe... Maybe we just gotta wait a little bit. Okay. Ex oh, explosion detected. We gotta find Silas's ID bracelet. Use as emergency exit only. Access through upper lap. Silas ID bracelet required. Okay. These doors always scare me. Fire suppressor? Hey, there's so many fire kits around here that if I feel like there's actually an explosion, we should be okay. The fire should be contained. Conference room. Mila's office. Again. We can't go in. Not yet anyway. We have our bracelet, so I feel like we should be able to go in. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, no, I really can't handle this sort of... Oh, this glass floor. Oh my god. Motivations. Self-preservation. Procreation. Material gain. Self-expression. Okay, self-preservation leads to desire for safety and security, leading to formation of tribe slash community. Defend against those who threaten. Yeah. Procreation. Biological urge to reproduce. Desire to attract mates. Competition emerges. Material gain. Dissatisfaction with current wealth. Hoarding of possessions. Envy of peers. Self-expression. Exposes differences in perspectives. Like-minded groups are formed. Individuals external to group labeled as opposition. Everything here ends in conflict. Yeah, that's pretty much how it is for humans too. But I'm assuming they're studying the aliens here. Well, maybe... Maybe we're not so different after all, huh? Oh. Is this some kind of joke? Where are all the pens? You should ask Silas if he's hiding them. That sounds like something he would do. Hiding pens? Species analysis. Oh, so maybe she was giving a presentation. <laughs> to Silas and Aiden? There's not really that many people here. Can we read this? I don't think so. That's a shame. Seems like you had a lot of good research going on here. Axiom. Explore with us. Advance our knowledge and reach of the vast universe and its inhabitants to ignite scientific innovations, enlighten our policymakers, and inspire our explorers. Through our approach of hope, curiosity, and achievement, we aim to ignite discovery, inform science, and inspire new generations. That sounds really noble. Mission to observe an alien civilization. We have an engineer. We have a researcher, we have a captain, but no diplomat. No one to actually communicate with the aliens. Why are we in such a hurry to communicate with them? It just feels like... I don't know. If it were up to me, I would want to observe them for at least, like, a year first. Curiosity is the very basis of exploration. So if you tell me that curiosity killed the cat, I should think that cat died rather nobly. Yes, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. It's all good. It's all good. Eco or echo, echo therapy. Innotech, communicate effectively. <laughs> it's not like a motivational poster. Okay. For some reason, they've all decided to use black paper and neon highlights. Gel pens? Are they all writing in gel pens? Kind of weird. So many computers around here, even though there's only like two people. Three people here. Final word, Elias Volanti. Mila to Elias. 
What Axiom chooses to do in future missions is their prerogative, but once this mission's remaining original objectives are complete, the Aspile and its crew will be returning. That's my final word on the subject. Your decision is regrettable, Mila. The board will issue their response shortly. On day 12. Wow, he replied really quickly. Hmm. So the attachment, we don't know what it was, but they're trying to make Mila do something that she doesn't want to do. No messages. You know what's crazier though? All of these computers here. It seems like we have such advanced technology, yet the mail, the mail doesn't sync between all the computers. Oh? Oh, how do I open my inventory again? What did I pick up? Oh. Oh, Mila's locker combination. Oh, I feel like we have it already then. Do we even need the rest? Oh. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. Alright. Scrum Notes, Mission Day 17, the day everything went to shit. Geological Report, Outstanding Content Assigned to Silas, Completion ETA? Conflict and Warfare Reporting, Ordinance and Munitions Analysis, Assigned to Aiden. Doctrines, Strategies and Tactics, Assigned to Mila. Aiden, you can't... Huh? Drink less during regular work hours. What, so you can drink during work hours? Why did she cross that out? Oh. This is getting more and more awkward between the three people. Mila and Silas are broken up, but Mila and Aiden are kind of not on the greatest of terms either. <laughs> it's awful. Everything is awful here. Is that something? Cards! Um... Sorry. <laughs> Weird symbols. Someone's beautiful drawings of who knows what. Okay. Yeah. This really annoys me. How can they work like this? Oh my god. It looks pretty and all, but I would not set foot in this room at all. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Where is everybody? Science wing. Oh, also locked. Viewing room B. The cameras are here for your own safety. Removing or impairing them will have serious consequences. <laughs> That's really... You need to run your posters through your marketing department, your HR department, because that's no way to word a poster like that. <laughs> yeah, they have an engineer. They don't have a diplomat here, that's why. <laughs> uh, okay. This whole thing is made of glass. It's so scary. Artificial intelligence design. Do they only read books about sci-fi? FTL. Particle generators. Faster than light. Ew, ew, ew. God, not that fruit again. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Like a flute holder? Oh no, it's for the maps. Oh, were they charting the alien planet? Thermal and radioactive decay signatures show that we're not observing a brief moment of war, but contextually, it appears to be a persistent practice. Their war is unbelievably fascinating to watch. It's unclear precisely what the catalyst is, and at this point, it doesn't even matter. The outright savagery demonstrated is unparalleled. Maybe they're dumber than us then. Thermal signatures. Violence can be segmented into either instinctual or intelligent categories of behavior. Instincts can be tamed while intelligence can be subjected to reason. The problem is, we can't tell which one of these is the cause of their violence. It sounds like you want to stop them from fighting, but why? Observe! Like I said, I would much rather just continue to observe and let them do their own thing. As opposed to randomly interfering, because we don't know what kind of effects doing that will have. Okay, we have the piece for Mila's locker combination, so I was wondering, maybe before going forward, we should try going back? 
Like, just looking at this piece here, I feel like we should know what to do. Although, yeah, that part we're not too sure about. But, I, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Back to the bridge. We can still go that way. Is anyone in the explosion area? It's all smoky, but we don't... I don't think I see anyone in there. It's kind of concerning, too. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get out of here. I don't like this place. The only reason I'm not freaking out right now is because I'm talking kind of loud to myself, but otherwise... Ooh, it's kind of not my thing. Mila's room. Is there a key for her office in here that I missed? Oh, all these... Did I open these before? Hold on. Oh. Is this her diary? It might be. There's a pen in here. I just feel like we have to have a way to get into her office. But why did we not find it? Oh. Oh, what is this? How do I... How do I move it so it... <laughs> I don't know how to rotate it properly. No, okay, well, we'll just have to tilt our head. Grand Virtues presents Travel Through Waves of Faces to night special event with special guests. Tickets. Tickets to something. Two tickets. Maybe for her and Silas, but they're not together anymore, so I guess that's a... That's a moot point. Oh, she has blinds. Good. Makes me feel a little better. Oh! Oh! Well, there you go. Oh, I don't think we needed that, though. Did we? Well, we got it anyway. Cool. Anyway, her office. Is there a way to get into her office? Is it related to this? What is this? Just a random puzzle? No, that's just a mirror frame. Oh, it sounded kind of weird when I was stepping on it. Did we look at this? It's just a random flower. Okay, well, I'm sure... Oh, I thought that was the key for sure, but it's... It's not. Yeah, we've seen this. Now we're just standing on the glass. <laughs> okay, well, at the very least, we have her... We have her locker combination. Let's go back. Mila's locker. Uh, that's kind of a hard combination to... Uh, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Here. And then what, like... No, I messed it up. I need a picture of it. Maybe I gotta take a picture of it on my phone. Hold on. Okay, let's try again. So we start here. Mila, she's writing down her entire combination. This is worse than the other guy with the hammer. There we go. What secrets do you have in here? Oh, what does that say? I want to read it. It's a book about women and power. My love, I have no doubt the next book in the series will be about you. Oh, this is Silas's books, because he's famous. Is that a code for something? The bottom symbol there. Hmm. No, I guess not, no. Oh, it's a book from Silas. She still keeps it, so I think she still likes him. But I don't think they're actually together anymore. Sorry. Oh. Wait, did I... Reposition to deploy interface. What did I get just now? Oh, science wing access key. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go in. Oh, okay. What about the office? Mila's office. I'm still wondering about that, but I guess that's all that's here for now. 
Huh. Maybe that's like pictures of her hometown, wherever on earth she was from. Okay, cool. Science wing. I think there's multiple entrances into the science wing. Uh, do I remember where they are though? Kind of sketchy. I think if we come in here. Medical. I feel like I'm always so scared that something's changed every time I come back in here. Is it this one? No, it's different. Okay, well, the other... Oh, we haven't been here either, have we? There's a lot of different places here. No, I guess we should look around here. This place is huge. Oh my god. Stairs? Okay, thanks. Why are the stairs not open? Let me down. <laughs> Oh, that's the place that we haven't been able to go to yet. Which we still can't go to. Because we need Silas's ID bracelet. There's only three people on board, but... There are certain areas that only certain people can go into? Just seems kind of excessive. Wait, the escape pods are still here, so... Yeah, they're still here. We know they're still here because they were yelling earlier. Mila was yelling. All three of them are still here. Probably. Who knows. We know that Mila's here because a girl was screaming. And she was screaming, run, Aiden. So Aiden is here, but what about Silas? Maybe something bad's happened to him. Now let's face it, something bad's happened to everyone here. No, remember this audio log? Can we listen to it again? Oh, we can't. But we picked up an audio log here earlier that was like... An alien has boarded our place. So definitely... We don't know what's going on. Could the alien be me? Could it be? Are they scared of me? Maybe. Maybe. Science wing. Here. Hello? Whoa. Oh my god. Stasis tank status. Summary. Single port optical PSU. Da -da 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 -da. It's just talking about the computer, I think. Usually I wouldn't mention this, but while I was below deck, I found some suspicious welding scars. They aren't listed in any repair manifest, so I opened one up and found this. With these welds all over, I would guess Axiom has full remote access to this entire station. Hmm, so they don't trust you on your mission. Well... I feel like they should have some level of access. Axiom, I mean. Is there a reason these tanks are active? Are we expecting guests? Don't worry about it. What the hell is going on here? This is so bad. You have three people on the ship, but they can't even trust anything. They can't trust their teammates. How can you have a mission like that? Are we expecting to capture aliens here? Okay, that, uh, well, I'm glad it's empty for now. The lighting in this place. Come on, guys, you gotta get better lights. Psi Prime Planetary Breakdown Data. Biosignatures, 1.4 million unique species. Wow, that's a huge... that's a lot. Turbulent winds with frequent storms. Rocky mountains and plains. There's nitrogen, oxygen, argon, methane. Planet composition, nickel, thiocene, iron, silicon. 85k light years away from us. Temperature range. 
about 75 Celsius to negative 112. Oh, so it's not very hot. Planet of Psi Prime Study Large ocean bodies primarily compose the southern hemisphere, and large continents dominate the northern hemisphere. Okay. Materials and Industry Study Roughly 10k materials observed in use, and overutilization of thermoplastics and metals. Industrially varies unsustainable and unoptimized. Little produced has a circular life cycle, estimated 30%, so it's not, you can't recycle it. Most production is linear, from consumption to waste. Wait. That sounds a lot... This seems like it's pretty similar to Earth. Mm, let's keep going forward for now. 17% of terrain exhibits radiological contamination. 33% of terrain is sterile or demonstrates an inability to cultivate microorganisms. Okay. Moving average conversions, MACO, VWAP, volume weighted average price. The hell is this, the stock market? Relative strength index. A man, if honest, would observe that we're not really studying these aliens, but comparing them to ourselves. That man, if clever, should seek to remedy this error in our research. That man, if curious, might then wonder what would they think of us. Silas, we're here on a mission. God, this guy, he sounds kind of, I don't know, maybe his attitude is a bit more geared towards writing novels, as opposed to being a researcher here. That's just a computer. Okay. What the hell? Oh my god! Biosignatures, 1.4 million unique species at time of initial global scan, but it's going down literally every second. Oh, wow, that's... is that what the global war? The civil war is doing? Damn, that's... it's going down really, really fast. We watch those below, while they watch us above. Oh, it's the cameras in the other places. Is something scary gonna pop up soon? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Hey, what the hell? That's a camera into Aiden's room. Wow, there's no privacy here at all. Jesus. Oh my god, the entire place is rigged with cameras. What the hell? It seems like Aiden's room is the only room that has a camera in it. Because it kind of doubles as an office too, but still, he sleeps there. Why would you put a camera in there? Oh my god. Get out of here, Axiom. Oh. Comes back up. Where was this? Yeah, there were two exits. Two entrances. Oh, it was right here. I walked the long way to get in. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, well, we can just go back down and keep going forward then. Okay. Hmm. I think that's it for this little corner here. Yeah, we just keep going forward now. Mila's office, man. How the hell do we get in? Maybe later? Okay. Our mission is to find Silas's ID bracelet. Why is nobody wearing their ID bracelet? Don't they need that to get around to places? Ooh. The hangar. This is the dock. The dock. Oh, both of them should be. No? Oh my god! Holy shit! Kind of vaguely looks like the lights are flickering over there. Is that Silas? 
Because we know that Mila and Aiden are probably still alive. Shit. There's three of them in the hangar with me. I can't stall them for long. Run! Aiden, get to the escape pod! It's too late for that. Finish the mission, Mila. Hangar airlock disengage. No! So it's Aiden then? Oh shit! Oh my god! Well that's... That's not good. I'm a little bit curious about that though. Did you catch? The line that we heard. Can we hear it again? Incident part 4. There's three of them in the hangar with me. Day 17. stall him for long. Run! Aiden, get to the escape pod! It's too late for that. Finish the mission, Mila. Hangar airlock disengaged. No! Run, Aiden. Get to the escape pods. That's what we heard when we were upstairs earlier, wasn't it? So does that mean... This was just recorded. So this is day 17 right now. Oh. Unless if someone also walked over here and was listening to the log, but uh, no. I think it just happened in real time. Oh my god. Okay, that's... It's not good. Three of them here. Three of them? That's a lot. Incoming and outgoing flight manifest. Ah! Ah! Someone's here! They've been here for, like, an hour? Oh no... CSAT, 20 years later. CSAT, isn't that what... Isn't that what, uh, was it Silas? The Silas have this? On the 20th anniversary of the first known case of CSAT, chromosomal splicing alteration defect, we look back on the 160 million lives to date lost. Echo, once heralded as a miracle gene therapy to improve cognitive process, dexterity, or augment physical strength, has become one of the most devastating scourges on our society. We celebrate that emergent treatment process appears to be capable of curing the illness. What used to be a death sentence is now manageable if the financial resources are present. Our hope is that through public dialogue, the stigma associated with CSAT will continue to diminish. We remind the public that the illness is not contagious, it is strictly hereditary. Echotherapy Chromosomal splicing alteration defect. So they were experimenting on gene therapy, or with gene therapy, and I guess it was all going very well until someone figured out that, hey, it's actually... there's some side effects that we haven't thought of, and, um, hmm... That's a defect from within. A defect in the genes. That's... That's harsh. 20 years ago. Well, one of us here has it. I forgot who it was. Was it Silas or Aiden? Dude, why do they have so many computers here? Oh my god. Huh. Do we need that for later? Tetron cell. That's the only one that we can pick up, so I feel like we might need it for later, huh? Ooh. Silas, if you find this, please don't tell Mila. I nearly have all of them. Mila, if you find this, I'm pretty sure Silas has been hiding all the pens here. <laughs> oh, that's where all the pens are. So they were doing pretty well, relationship-wise. Although, it's probably still a little bit awkward that... Yeah, you know, two of them broke up and stuff. Aiden to Thera. Oh my god, that was like 10 minutes ago. Five minutes ago. I, Aiden Vise, chief engineer on board the Aspile, do hereby revoke my former wills and declare this my last will and testament. I direct all my current and future assets, earnings, and wealth to my daughter, Kina Vise, to pay for any outstanding medical receipts and invoices. I direct that treatment and cure of Kina's CSAT disease take first priority. Oh, it was Aiden who had it because he gave it to his daughter. I appoint Thera Vise to be Kina's guardian and to oversee her treatment. Well, maybe that's why he's taken on this mission, because he doesn't have the money, and he's doing this so he can get the money. 
Dude, he probably wrote this while he was dying. Cause he- yeah, like, he wrote this five minutes before the audio log. Oh my god. Right? Yeah, 1646. That one was 1641. Oh my god. Tetron cells powering the future. Oh, and that's the look- hello. Hey, so sometimes you change color. Well, whatever. Oh, Jesus. Well, now we know why he's without his bracelet. What the hell is going on? Uh, oh, there's a door there. No door here. Did they leave? Or not? We've already seen the escape pods, and they're still here. So Mila and probably Silas are still here somewhere. Should I touch this? No, I can't. Ah! Oh god, oh god, that's, that's too flashy. Is that a light or what? What? What is that? Kibo. Oh, shh. Oh. And her dad, now her dad is gone. Oh my god. People, please. Okay, why have they not come to meet me? The only explanation I can think of is that when they talk about three people. Whoa! What the hell are these scars? Are they talking about me? Because otherwise, if we were on the same side, then the moment we came in here and they saw us, they should be like, oh my god, help is here, finally! We can... we can get help! But that wasn't their reaction to seeing me, so... Uh, maybe I'm not the one who should be scared wandering around here right now. Maybe I'm the hunter. What is this? Like an engine room? To do. Finish moving rest of fuel cells from hangar office and engineering. Yeah? Okay, before we even look at this, I know it. Check engine to restore power to Silas's room. Got it. It's right over here. Oh my god. Aiden has been floating out there this whole time before we retrieved him. Jesus. Uh, I know I didn't kill him though. Do I have colleagues here that I'm not aware of? Because I still kind of feel like the three. They said there's three here. It shouldn't be me. Or at least I feel like it shouldn't be me. Hold on. Oh. This one? Engine controls disabled. Yup. We already got two right here. That's one. Incorrect frequency. Fuel cells must be calibrated to the appropriate frequency of their power transformer up with the vice. Is that computer related? Microfabrication. Step 1. Remove an exhausted fuel cell only after displacing the microfabrication reluctance such that it is in a static position. I think I did that already? Step 2. For best performance, perform the two-stage anthropetry analysis of the planar and spatial encabulator on the prospective fuel cell prior to loading into the calibrator. Of course! I, uh, I did that already too! <laughs> How do I do that? Ah, okay. Calibration. I got you, I got you. Stick it in here. Uh... How do I... How do I know which frequency I want? I'm not sure. 
Is there a way we can find that? Probably. Step two. For best performance, perform the two-stage anthropetry analysis of the planar and spatial encabulator on the prospective fuel cell prior to loading into the calibrator. I feel like we're missing a step here. The first set of drones returned with the sediment samples, but two were damp. Are you drinking? Uh, <laughs> I'm rescuing what's trapped in this bottle. Well, are you gonna share or what? Have a seat. Mila's probably pretty stressed out by the whole Elias and the senators making them do what they making her do what they want her to do, but she doesn't want to do it. Okay, I think it's this pattern, but it's pretty... I'm gonna have to take a picture of this, because it's a little bit hard to remember. Alright. Is there more than one? Ah, there's two, okay. So I'll have to follow the cables to really see which one I'm looking at here. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's look at the first one first. This one? Cable... Whoa! Whoa, there's a lot- I feel like I'm losing track already. What? You can't put it in here! How do I know which one's right? Oh! They each have their own one! Okay, all six of them, they have their own one. I thought there were two different ones. Okay, so I have to follow this cable then. Which goes in here, and then comes out this way. And... Okay, I think it's this one then. Okay. Why the heck do they have such a complicated workflow system? Okay, I think I got it. And then... All we gotta do is put the cell in here, which we have already. And we will put it to the frequency of the one that we just saw. Which is... Hold on... This one? This one? This one again. Okay, cool. So that would be... No errors. Alright. And the next one... We can put this one in here first. Oh, no, here. And if we follow... This cable here... Gotta work on their cable management. This one. <laughs> that was a long following trail back. Oh my god. Okay. Got it. And then... We come back over here. And... It is... This one. This one. And this one. How about that? Enable emergency life support systems. Is that enabled? Connect, disconnect outgoing electrical processes. Full engine reset. That's the only one I can move. Until I move the next one. Ah! No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Oh, the gravity. I'm gonna get dropped down when it turns back on. Oh, shoot! Hey. Hey. Yeah, I think he's scared of me more than I'm scared of him. Starting to feel not as scared around here. It's just a robot. It's just a goddamn robot. Ah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you fucker, Aiden. Oh, survey. How frightened were you by this? You owe me a new shirt, Aiden. How did you even manage to get this job? To fucking hell. Yeah, that's the uh, the new shirt. And that's the drink. That's the cup the drink came from. Jesus Christ. 
Right after I saw that guy, too. That was not... Ah. Uh, you know what? I think... I think after looking into this room, we're gonna have to call it a day. <laughs> oh my god, my heart can't take this. Let me just have a look around the corners here. Over here? No, it's just all the, the cables. Not much going on. Oh shit. Okay. Alright, when we come back, we are gonna... We'll figure out what's here. Maybe. How much do we have left? I'm not sure. We gotta find Silas and Mila. And Silas's bracelet. For a second, I thought that was one of them. Oh, jeez. Anyway, we are gonna look for that when we come back.